The UN Regional Force also has been topping the agenda at talks in Addis Ababa. Delegates from the UN Security Council met their counterparts at the African Union headquarters. CCTV's Gurum Chela sent this report. Monday's meeting was behind closed doors, but delegates told me their main aim was to agree a harmonized approach that it will take the combined efforts of the UN and the African Union to bring peace to South Sudan. The UN delegation flew in from South Sudan's capital, so they have seen for themselves conditions in Juba. They have also heard the concerns President Salvaki's government has about the deployment plan. So winning his public support for the deployment has been welcomed here. But the AU says the real work is still ahead. This issue has been settled, so now we are into the details of this deployment. So details, we need to give, it, uh, give some time maybe to diplomacy, to, to, to see with them the extent of this um, uh, deployment, uh, their mandate, the terms of reference, uh, who is going to participate. Uh, uh, so these are details, and always the devil lies in details. One key detail for the AU is that the UN must foot the bill, not Africa. Another is which countries from the region will send in troops. Sudan and Uganda have made it clear they won't participate without Juba's buy-in. Groomed CCTV at the African Union headquarters in Addis Ababa.